Hey what's up guys, this is Val. In this video I'm gonna take the new cool denoiser feature of Dash Studio 4.12 for a quick spin here. And I've actually done a pretty advanced test, so I'm gonna show you that in a moment. But first, the thing is, if you go to editor, you know, of course in the render settings, right? And go to filtering, you've got the new feature here, post denoiser available. And if it's available, you can just turn it on. And also you can here uh, select which frame or iteration you want that to engage and I have it set to zero which means it's gonna just engage all the time immediately right what this means is that if I turn it off prior to this version um, as you can see Dash Studio looks quite noisy in the beginning right I'll just use both cards here and so it means it's I mean it's pretty fast it appears kind of quickly right but still, it's very noisy in the beginning and takes some time for it to really kick in. And especially if you surpass, I think it's like 100, 200 or something uh, iterations right now, right? It kicks in and, well, looks pretty good. And um, so what's the benefit? When I was turned off, so what's the benefit of it? And the benefit is that when you're previewing, and just you know release the mouse button when you're rotating you have to wait for a preview right and if there is a lot of noise and especially if the scene is very heavy I'm gonna show you a very heavy scene in a moment that's the one I've been doing for for testing it takes up up to one half an hour to render with full five, 15,000 iterations and because I wanted to really put this to a test is it really good is it you know something you want to use or not and what are, what are the benefits or what are, are the pros and cons and I found out pretty shocking stuff that I was kind of surprised first of all the denoiser is amazing look at it click it on and wow there is no noise pretty much at all times sometimes you can get some kind of awkward noise going on here and there and you know it takes a while it's like more like patterns or something like that but it's kind of you know I prefer this kind of blurry look if you will as opposed to having that noisy look I think this represents the scene much better and you are you know in a position to decide much quicker is this something you want lighting wise or does you know, everything look good as opposed to having it turn off having it turn off means you have to wait longer until you can decide if, if this is worthwhile, right? If, if your lighting is right, if shadows are right, because of the noise, it just gets in the way. So I think, you know, um, having the denoiser on really speeds up rendering. Now, the cool thing about this is that this is just incredible in you know, for animations where, you know, Normally you have to wait like several minutes or maybe half an hour to get a decent render. Now you can actually render much shorter. I'm gonna show you how that's possible in, in our you know in the test I've done, right? But you can render much shorter time periods and end up with a much better quality. And that now opens up a whole new spectrum for you know people that can start using animation. Because it just renders so fast because you don't have to wait to get rid of the noise so let me just turn off the, uh, depth of field if I'm gonna just set it right here I'm gonna click on the model frame her right about here and just set the camera to a little bit of depth of field right and now I can zoom in and just get a little bit of blurry background behind her so you can see how that performs as you can see it's very very quick at you know quickly showcasing how the scene looks like and if you turn it off it's gonna take much much longer until you can decide how the reflections look like how the specularity effects look like because with the noise it's very difficult you know you can if you let this render for a little bit longer you can see that the noise that initially looks like quite a lot, it kind of decays over time, the more details you get. But with the denoiser on, 
we can immediately see and sense roughly how the lighting impacts the scene. So I, I think it's brilliant. So for preview purposes, wow. For animation, wow. It cuts down your rendering time to, well, I wouldn't say one tenth, but because there is a pro and con with it, I'm gonna go back to this when I just load um, our model here in a more advanced scene, where that really shows. But you can cut it down to one fifth of the rendering time for sure. So it's a huge time saver on its own. Now, a very shocking thing during the testing, you know, as, as we're testing a more advanced scene, I found that the denoiser on or off does not affect rendering time. And I mean at all. It does not it does not matter if you have it on or off it's this for a specific if you set it to render you know if you know how IRA works it's never really done you have to set a definite uh, either number of samples so-called iterations or you set uh, a time of well time spent in this case it's two hours or converge converge ratio if either of these are met the render stops right so it's not like you can finish an IRA render um, and have it done. It's never done. It's ongoing. Um, <clears throat> but the thing is with the denoiser, you reach that state of satisfactory results much, much quicker. Now, the shocking thing is I didn't see a difference on the time spent. It was exactly the same. I was either one second faster or one second slower with on or off so it's it's just a matter of you know different uh, um, time measures or, or um, some kind of you know system delays or whatever it, it's pretty much the same rendering time no matter how much you render so that's kind of shocking right it's an awesome technology so guys, what I want to do now is really show you, because this is kind of like a, this scene here is kind of light, right? There is no, not so much geometry, it's a single model, it's a, uh, it's a be simple beach scene, um, there is just one HDR map, one chair, it's not an advanced scene, right? But when we really load this into a more advanced setting, man! it shows so much difference that it's almost ridiculous. So let's do that. All right guys, so here I've loaded the exact same scene. I've just zoomed in with the camera. I have, the scene itself is a studio setting. There was, you know, a gazillion rooms in here and all that. What it also has is almost two million polygons. Plus a lot of the surfaces in here, like the bulbs in the background are self glowing and emit lighting, so-called emissives, and they take a lot of time to render, like a lot. So, the cool thing about this is that I also have additional two spotlights, right, in the scene. So this is a very, very heavy scene, even for these cards. And with the render settings here at the small resolution, and I was just using uh, 15,000 iterations, render quality enable off, this is my render settings. It took a little bit over half an hour to render this with the 15,000 iterations. Now, bear in mind, like I said earlier, you, you don't need to do that, right? You don't need to render that long. It shows a pretty good render after just 3,000 iterations, right? Or even lower. It depends on the scene uh, you're you, you uh, using. Now, the thing is, if I turn off now the denoiser, it looks horrible. It looks horrible. Like I said, it's very, very difficult now to say, hey, this is good or or not, right? You don't really know. It's like you, you cannot just know. You, you're guessing, right? You're guessing it. It's so noisy, it's almost ridiculous. And it makes it just hard to, you know, tell and really project. Is this something I'm going to like? Is this a good scene? Is it going to look great? How does all the noisy surfaces look like? You cannot predict how it looks. And you're gonna wait for several minutes with this preview here. Using both cards, this is a very heavy scene. A lot of polygons, a lot of emissives, which means the lights are emitting light. That's the, really, if you wanna really, you know, 
uh, extend your renders and make them you know take forever to render then you're gonna use emissives um, they look great but they take forever to render um, so as you can see it takes a long time to preview but with it set to on it's just incredible it's soft yes but immediately you can sense the the final kind of intensity you can sense the shadows you can sense the specularity the reflections you can sense everything and it's just much you know smoother preview much quicker um, let me take a now let me take a look now on the exact renders I've made okay you have them also lined up in this blog post one by one on um, the rendering time and also how many iterations it is and bear in mind again this is you know you don't have to force your NVIDIA card to render that long you don't have to render 50,000 iterations sometimes you can also set a quality enable and use a specific quality like 1, 2, 10, 50, 100 or whatever and that may also impact how many iterations you do because the higher the quality the fewer iterations you can do at the same time so iris is kind of advanced that way it has a lot of options I'm not gonna cover that in this video but as you can see just while talking the preview is much much clearer right all right so let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you those um, those renders one by one and if you've been following my blog for a time a period of time you know that I hate just fluffing stuff right if something is good well it, obviously it always has some kind of downside so I always want to you know engage and show uh, both pros and cons so let me load after just 100 iterations all right this render took um, let me just check that so when it took as you can see uh, 29 seconds with um, off denoise you off and 20 and 30 seconds on and as you can see it's pretty much the same render time across the board I at, at the end here I didn't check there was so much waiting time so I wasn't uh, available for uh, for the test but I just you know assume it's pretty much the same because it's 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 been the same so far so at 100 obviously the with the noise on uh, or the denoiser off and noise on so to speak it's pretty bad right but with it on you can immediately sense the intensity of the skin the reflections the specularity and you have much better prediction of how it looks like and this is just horrible you cannot sense anything out of this because often you know um these light highlights they will just you know uh, the more data they get, the, the the smoother they will get, obviously. And sometimes they can uh, look very intense right in the beginning because there is this uh, uh, this white noise, so to speak, right? But in the end, it's not that intense. That's why I prefer this preview. Uh, granted, it's very soft, and at this quality, it's not suitable for animation, right? So let's turn it off, and let's load the uh, few other tests here that are going to be 300. So on and off, 300. So this render here took 55 seconds with it off and 56 seconds with it on on my machine, right? So still, after 300 iterations, a lot of noise. Here, much less so in a much more accurate presentation. Uh, representation obviously still very very soft. So this is not a fine quality uh, kind of thing just yet but for preview purposes and specifically if you're doing a previous like you if you have a long animation and you want to just quickly grasp uh, how you know just have a look at how things uh, work how the animation works out how it roughly looks like I think this is just perfect because you can just render this for like 30 seconds per frame at least on my machine uh, obviously a lot of time saving on any machine and that would just give you a much more better preview of what's going on now let's go back and now let's load 1000 so now we're just starting to talk about a little bit better quality there's 1000 iterations uh, with the noise on and 1000 iterations with the noise off still a lot of noise in it and this is typical array specifically in these um, indoor settings where you have emissives emissive lights 
uh, or surfaces that emit lighting, they are really heavy on the system and they take a long time to reduce the noise. But with it turned on, you have the noise removed. Seeing them you know, side by side, you can see there's still kind of like a softening effect, right? It's noticeable on the hair, on her eyes and eyebrows and all that. But the quality is much better with this on. So I would say at around 1000 iterations for this particular scene, it starts to look like okay-ish. It's still very blurry. And 1000 took two and a half minutes, right? Now let's take a look at some more serious render times. 5,000 iterations, 11 minutes. Uh, let's have a look at that. Um, 5,000, all right. So now we're talking better, much better quality. This could almost be like final quality. If you take, with, take a look at it with off, it's still noisy. Man, after 11 minutes, it's still noisy? Wow. So now you're seeing a very, very subtle difference in, in uh, uh, the fact that with the, the, the noise you turn on, it's still a bit blurry, right? But it's very subtle right now. Let me zoom in. That's 200% zoom, all right? It's very blurry right now, but we can now clearly see the difference. This is 5,000 iterations. So, I mean, at this stage, we are talking almost final quality uh, render. Almost, right? So, the final question is, how does it look after 15,000 iterations? And I, like I said, uh, like I showed you earlier, I had, you know, quality, uh, the quality setting was turned off. This is just the default array setting, right? 32 and a half minute. And let's take a look at the renders. It's going to be very interesting to see. With this turned on and turned off. At this stage, the noise is very subtle, and there is a little bit softening effect still on the denoiser. Which, if I just zoom in this 200%, you can see that the denoiser off, there's a lot of noise still, and if I turn it on, there's no noise, but it's very soft still. So, you can say that, you know, I haven't tested this. Um, of course, I've been using it for two weeks, and then I've used the beta version for an, uh, another uh, few weeks' time. But the thing is, you know, across the board, having it on will much quicker give you a better quality uh, state of render. However, at all times, you will see a kind of a blurriness, so to speak, right? And that kind of doesn't go away. It's just there. So the denoiser, having it on, will give a little bit softer look on your images. Uh, pretty much always. And it's just the, just the way it works. And does it remove all noise? No. Take a look here at the hand. There's a lot of, you know, um, scattering, light scattering uh, occurring. Here is turn on. There is still a little bit of noise here. This is saved as a BMP, so it's very high quality, you know. Save, I can just zoom in this to 300%. You can see here, down here, this is with the denoiser off, and here, denoiser on, there's still a little bit of kind of like pattern-ish style noise, right? But on the face, it's gone. It's gone. So the final verdict is that the denoiser is an overall remarkable thing. Remarkable. So the quality here, you're seeing here, at 15,000 iterations with the turn off, has still a little bit of noise, kind of sharp, crisp, right? This is 200% zoom. But now we can go back to, let's say, let's just go back to 5,000, but somewhere in between, like 3,000 would be an ideal comparison, but 5,000. That's still three times the, the speed, all right? Now, let's load that. On with 5,000. Let's zoom in twice, 
few times, sorry. Um, the entire image was zoomed in. There we go. Um, let's turn this off. That's it. This is a 200% zoom. So this took half an hour to render. This took roughly 10 minutes. See, this is three times the speed, and the quality is, I mean, it's, it's, it's a little bit softer, but obviously this is a zoomed-in version, right? But it's much, in my opinion, much better. I prefer this blurry look without noise than having this after just, you know, three times the rendering time. And like I said, there is a threshold with somewhere around five times the rendering time because you can still go back a little bit to just 1,000 and still a decent render. This is five times faster. Uh, sorry, this is more. This is 12 times faster. <laughs> sorry. This is 1,000 iterations. So you just get a much quicker preview, much faster. So the Pro Suitable quickly gives you, you know, a better preview in during preview, uh, much quicker rendering time because you don't have to wait uh, as long to get rid of noise. However, at all times, it's going to be a little bit, little bit, little bit, you know, more blurry than the original. And I suspect, I haven't tried it that, that long, but I suspect if you let it run for a really, really long time, with a super quality, like maybe 5,000 quality instead of the uh, quality setting off, right? If you have a really high quality uh, and let it render like for several hours, I think the, the blurriness there is gonna be you know, kind of like, we can skip it, right? There's maybe not, not, not such a huge difference, but this is not about that. This is not about that. The denoiser is great for quick previews, um, more accurate previews, and also for saving and rendering time at a cost of a slight blurry effect. Now, I've also been testing this, you know, extensively. You know, I, I uh, create a lot of products uh, each week and a lot of tutorials. I've been really testing this um, uh, heavily, and I also found that the denoiser does not work when you create masks. So, if you are inside um, the studio and you create these masks. Uh, you know, black and white silhouette-ish uh, style renders, like, you know, uh, she would be completely white uh, silhouette against the black backdrop. If you render those style of black and white images, you have to have the denoiser turned off, or, or else it will just create some kind of ghosting effect or shadowy effect within the mask itself. Guys, that's my review of this, my test. Love this new feature. It has a lot of cool benefits. It obviously has downsides, but that's with everything, right? There is, and I've been saying this for, for a long time, there is no such thing as a perfect tool or perfect technique or perfect solution. There is always pros and cons and you gotta weigh both, you know, uh, for your projects. What, what are you intending to do? What's important to you? How does this, this style, this technique improve your work or maybe destroy it right so guys that's pretty much it for for this um, um review uh, if you haven't downloaded that studio yet there's a link below this video um have fun with your renders and i'll see you soon again